Yes, sir. Just keep it coming. Keep it coming, champ. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Come on. What kind of show you gonna put on this one? Is that it? Let me see. Let's go. Let's go. This is my man Maurice Lee, one of the baddest dudes that ever come back from all adversity. Been shot seven times, stabbed, and coming back with nothing but heat. Doing it with the best coaches. Coach Pad, man, and my man BDB, Coach BDB, we one of the best coaches out there, man. Run them off right there. Run them off right there. Run them off again. Run them off again. Run them off again. Run them off again. Keep your eyes on them, man. So don't throw your punches so hard so you can take your head off. Keep your eyes on them. Real fight, okay? Yes, sir. Can you give me a little, uh, Dr. Pepper for sugar? Cut white. You know, we down in white. What, 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 what? Dr. Pepper? A little shit. I learned this from Floyd Mayweather. I learned this from TBE. Is this real Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Okay, hey, when you train them with the greats, Pacquiao, Mayweather, you gonna learn something. BDB, you gonna learn something. BDB learns shit too. <laughs> I'm saying I'm gonna learn stuff from you. Yeah, but I just learned some shit from you. I ain't drinking. Hey, right, never stop learning. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yes, yes. But now I feel blessed. You know, to have my co uh, great coaches, you know, a team that believe in me, a management that believe in me, Schiller, give me an opportunity. And like I said, all glory to my Lord Jesus Christ. And faith put us all together because we all had our trials and went through all our tribulations, and there's a history about that. Hey, man, where you been at? Man, if you to really ask that, I've been I've been in a furnace fire, right? Spiritual warfare, you know, uh, life battles. Hey, boxing was almost taken from me. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Don't expand on that. June twenty eighth. Um, you know, just another day. Just in, you know, at the time, you know, uh, my you career. Say normal day. Your normal day or normal day? No, this day was normal when I got stabbed. Like, I'm like, I need my phone. So I go back over there and as I'm walking, two men are approaching me. And like, you know, they're looking like cordial, you know? And I'm like, hey, y'all seen the phone? And they're like, yeah, we seen, oh yeah, we seen one in the garage. And like, you know, me being, uh, I could say like, in need of my phone, like one in my phone, I, was, I followed them in the garage. But as I follow them in, one dude went that way, the other dude went this way. And turned around with knives in both hands. So it, it was some, it was a setup or something. I, I never seen these dudes before in my life, you know. But um, I had to fight for my life, you know. And, you know, I know the Holy Ghost was with me because as I'm getting stabbed, one dude behind me just stabbed me in the head like Chucky and Michael Myers and all that. Like, Was that your toughest battle, toughest fight? <clears throat> In life? Yeah, in life. That incident? Or nah. I mean, when I was 11 years old, I got shot seven times. And uh, from that moment on, we just start taking boxing to another level. We got invited to the Pacquiao camp because people started hearing about what he was doing. Uh, we went down there until we got <laughs> kicked out. <laughs> hey, well, I wrote it in my book, so, okay, but what happened was, um, when we sparred him the first time, I think it was only like two or three rounds, and we controlled him pretty good, you know, so we were pretty, pretty happy with our performances, but uh, uh, the second time, we did it again, a little bit worse, and uh, we, we was at Wild Card Gym, so it was his fans there, it was only me, uh, Kevin Henry, and, and Maurice, so and in the trenches yeah, and yeah, 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 and, and, but we, doing, we were doing, we were doing some good work. We was doing work so well that uh, we, we wasn't invited to stay to the end of the camp. So I'm trying to say it respectfully. Because <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love Manny. I love Manny Pacquiao. I love everything he stands for. So I'm trying to be respectful, you know. Yeah, I feel that. 
Uh, eventually we made it to Sean Porter's uh, camp and that's when we had issues. Okay, so we didn't have, have issues because what happened inside of the ring, outside of the ring caught up to us and we went through some drama. I think a lot of people probably seen it on the internet, some of the things that was going down. I was right there on Front Street. And uh, so at that time, you know, it was just prayer. We had to pray for a soul. I mean, I see you on Twitter, uh, 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 Earl Spencer's going back and forth. What was that? What was that about? Man, you know, through the through it all, man, you know, I, you know, I went through the storm for 2020, 2021. Was in a uh, six mental homes. They were saying I was hyper religious because I talk about Jesus. So That's you know, got here. Is that a thing though? Hey, the world make it a bad thing. So it put me in a mental hospital. So That's why you um, got here. the Lord opened a door that no man could shut. And uh, you know, Earl Spence, me and him, you know, I just put out a video like all the champions. I want to fight you, and I, like I'm serious. You know, like with the right camp, I'll fight any fighter. You know, so um, he replied, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably stop you in sparring. I said, see, you saying probably. I know I'll stop you. I said, you know what, let's fight. You need a tuna fight, send a contract. Yeah. I told Floyd, Floyd said, I'll think about it. So I'm running with it. He ain't say no. Yeah. So I was trying, you know, I was, the Lord, everything happened in God's time, but I was prophesied and I was going hard, you know, but. In due time, I believe later in life that fight could still happen at 54. Yes. You know, three years from now or something. Hey, tell me this: Why he reply to you? If everybody want to fight somebody, why would they? Why would they reply to you? At all? Because he know me. He, everybody know me in boxing. You know, like everybody know me. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't been in there with everybody and competed with all the best elites. Pac L. Floyd, the best of our generation. Yes. Boxing's a small circle, so you know we we all kind of without knowing each other, knowing each other because that you hear about it in the gym. Yeah. yeah. So, Me and Floyd sparring was legendary. Yeah, it was. The whole world was talking about that. Yeah. What year was this? For the Pacquiao camp. Oh shit. I got him ready for that. He he texted me like, "Thank you for pushing me." Yeah. You know, Floyd Floyd keep it one hundred. He said he woke me up, but he's turned it up though. Floyd. That's why I say TBE. Me and him had always been. Chess, like you know, co competition back and forth. Okay, okay. Pacquiao was good too, but we matched the feet on Pacquiao. I love Pacquiao. Yeah. I love Pacquiao, but Pacquiao, you know, I was boxing Pacquiao really well, you know. Yeah. But eight-time world champion, all respect. So I'm back to myself, like peaceful. The Lord restored my peace. So yeah, definitely coming down to end the camp, preparation, focus, hard work. Great coaches pushing, but I'm at home in that ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I have fun. Like, I love them lights. I love, you see this light? I love it. You see it? You see we let it shine in Jesus' name. All glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It's also look at life, and people have the misconception of there's a perfect human being when there's not. Right so everybody has the same thing, stress, issues. I don't know anybody in my life that don't have any problems. There's no such thing. So if you can't mentally, physically deal with it, then you have to make some adjustments. Hey, BDB Boxing got the Pacquiao camp that we was in there with. Got the champ Devin Haney in there. Got Zab Judah in there. Got, you know, a lot of Hasim Rockman. Got a lot of great stories. So uh, definitely, yes sir, tune in. BDB, let's get it, baby. We're gonna be ready December 10th. And we're gonna go for the K.O. Yeah. One. Oh, <clears throat> I want to help as many brothers and sisters change their life as my life has been changed. Hey, Amen. Hey, anybody give you some work in the gym? Uh, to tell the truth, man, anybody give you some work? <clears throat> and, if, and if somebody that's popping in the sport have you dogged? Well, I'm going I'm to shout, shout out some love. You know, uh, shout out to uh, Keith Hunter. I've been coming. You know, my brother uh, ain't really been having an opportunity to fight at, he crazy, you know, 47 to 35. But uh, he really down there at 35, 40. And uh, I believe he'd he be champion. You know, yeah. uh, he give me great work. Oh, me, I like him. He give me great work, Keith Hunter. Uh, Sean Porter gave me, Floyd, Pacquiao, all these guys gave me great work. You know, I'm not saying like, I just straight destroyed any of them, you know. But um, I've definitely got the best of all of them. And it's been back and forth and with, you know, Floyd and Pacquiao.
you know. And it's just about doing it under light, so they, December they, 10th, baby. They verifying this shit? Oh, 100 percent It's a pure fact. I've been I've been since 21, I've been beating the best. Like when I was 21, a lightweight with only four amateur fights, I was Vonis Maroni's main sparring partner for Laura. He was 32 and 0 as a pro. I was a light a middleweight. I was a lightweight, four amateur fights, giving him top work. He'll tell you. He told me straight up, this the next Mayweather. Joe Goosen said I'm better than Michael Nunn. So you go look at the videos on YouTube. My thing was this. In the beginning of my career, I had no anxiety. You feel me? Pro debut ESPN. I'm coming out how I'm feeling now. I'm at home. I'm comfortable. You feel me? So once I left my faith, I got deceived and started getting into law of attraction, new age, all this teaching. My peace left me. Because Christ is the peace. So once the peace left me, anxiety came. And it's just been war from there. So look, tune in to part two, baby. This part one. Part two coming. The story just beginning. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it gets deep. Let's get it. Clock in, baby. Clock in. Let's get it.